Hello fellow 3D printers, I'm Jay Wall Print That Thing here to share with y'all 3D printed news things that I thought were interesting. The US Energy Department is dropping 1 million in investing in 3D printing those huge wind turbine blades. These 3D printed wind turbine blades can shave 75 million off their yearly cost. RapidReadyTech.com reports that there is a new file type in town, a 3MF, dot 3MF, dot 3MF. So dot 3MF is like this new file format that they're trying to replace the STL so that it's more universal across all the big companies like Stratus, 3D Systems, HP, software companies can also integrate it in their software like Autodesk or Microsoft and all their 3D printing programs. I looked in a few programs, I didn't see any dot 3MF anywhere for exports so maybe that's coming around the corner so check it out keep me posted if you see anything the file type of the future for 3d printers <laughs> maybe who knows 3dears.org reports that the u.s air force is investing 34.6 million dollars into 3d printing rocket engine parts oh yeah okay so the, i got an email from my mini factory the other day and they are starting this new platform, a browser-based app or browser-based software, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's free. You can 3D model with people around the world. How they're saying the internet is going from like an i i i wave of like iTunes, you know, iMac, every i i i i. Then there's the YouTube generation, which is like you and 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 you. And then now there's the we wave where it's all we create and we collaborate. And I think that's really cool. So we'll see how that goes. Check it out. You can go to their website now, wedesign.live, wedesign.live, and be live creating with people. It's like a digital playground. But you can sign up on their website and become an alpha tester and come 3D print with me and I guess two other people. That <laughs> ePrintingIndustry.com is talking about Stratus' new education development packets or something like they're giving to teachers to teach students how to go through the entire process from concept to completion, you know? So the first lesson, the only one I've seen is um, on earbuds. It teaches kids or adults how to create earbuds with certain creative boundaries. Like it's gotta be small enough to fit in a pocket. It's gotta hold both the, uh, here. Like this is an example, kind of. It's gotta be able to hold the input part and the earbuds. And it's gotta be able to quickly wrap and unwrap around something. Uh, and then there's an optional boundary where you can have it clip onto clothing or a backpack, but you don't have to. Little baby Lucy got a new kidney from her daddy. Reuters.com said that there's these surgeons using 3D printing technology to scan this little baby Lucy's abdomen and her pelvis to see if they could implant her father's donated kidney, and it worked. They This is the first time that they've ever done something like this where they printed the pelvis in a harder like bone material or plastic material and then the uh, abdomen in a movable filament and then they took a scan of her dad's kidney and then placed that inside to see if it would fit figured out where they were going to connect it said holy moly this is going to work and then it actually worked so now this girl is like kicking it living the dream living the life 3dears.org did a story on Val Smith it's a thumbprint wedding ring jewelry company so the imprints the couple's thumbprints on their the bands of the wedding ring. They use a high-end wax 3D systems printer. Then they cast it with precious metals, just like the Egyptians used to do. And then they can ship it to you within like two days. It's insane. You can customize it. Check out their website. They've got like this little customizer widget built in, and it's pretty rad. If you and your loved one are thinking of tying in, tying the knot, that might be a place to go there. The price range is roughly like. 900 to 2000 depending on what you want 3dprint.com was talking about this new software called smoothie 3d smoothie 3d smoothie 3d it's like you're drinking a smoothie of 3d <laughs> and you take 2d photos flat 2d photos and then you use the software to look around it and make a three-dimensional printable object with the picture on it it's pretty cool. They do a squirrel and there's a few videos on their website where it shows you kind of how to use the software. Hackaday is saying things about printing human brains. This dude, Andrew Sink, 3D printed his brain, like a replica of his brain. 
using a CD from his MRI session and took the data, ran it through NetFab to kind of clean it up in some spots, and then printed it and it took 48 hours at 200 microns. So now he has a model of his brain. I would, let's do, that's crazy. That is insane. I would love to see, like everybody's brain would look kind of different and weird. And this could be used for medical practices to help people with brain defects or, you know, just looking at the brain. Um, but I was thinking, what if it gets crazier than that and they're printing human brains? I mean, if they can print kidneys and like heart parts and skulls, could they print a human brain? I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking you. Do you think that's possible? PressTV.ir is talking about this Russian company that has created a thing they call the portal that can scan any human in about a minute. And it's just four infrared scanners that are just rotating in a 360 around the person. Boom, then they got it, throws the color on there. And now people have their, you can have your own avatar of yourself for gaming. You can use it for online, like digital shopping, like a dressing room, like trying on clothes with your digital person. We're gonna print like it's 1799. Just like our forefathers used hemp, it's a fibrous material that used for ropes, canvases, paper, oils, lots of things. They used to use it all the time, and now this, these three companies, 3DOM USA, Fargo 3D Printing, and C2 Renew, it's a new hemp-based filament called Entwined. Get it? It's like entwined with hemp. It looks very earthy, very gritty. Um, you see like bio, chemicals inside of it. It's kind of cool. So uh, check it out. I don't know if it's out yet. They just emailed me last night about it. Um, so I guess it's coming right around the corner. So check that out if you're interested in hemp filament. They also have coffee filament and beer filament. So whatever your vice is, 3DOM's got you covered. That was it. Oh yeah, and it's working. Oh yeah, the print is working. Uh, thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe if you like 3D printing. Oh, comment if you have any ideas and I will 3D model it, 3D print it and give you the first print and then also share it with all the rest of the world so we can create. Yeah, see you. Also check out the other videos. There's tutorials, designs, events, news, and I've also been doing some live broadcasting because I've been getting obsessed with that. This is my new office. I've been digging it. Happy printing, everyone. I think that's a wrap. I think that's it.